with Rob in the buggy and uh, it's obviously left hand drive so I'm sat on the right and it feels really weird <laughs> sat on this side with no steering wheel and like you, when you come to things you're pressing the brake that doesn't exist we're just on our way to Brook House now there's a guy doing like a 3D scan of the house for the website so we're going to go and see how he's doing it right I'm with Carl he's got this little box thing does it turn around and take the pictures? yeah it's been so it's taking loads of pictures we're outside at the moment but it does it inside here and it'll do it'll completely take pictures and make a, a scan so that you can walk through the the house so there's the the model that it's making of the house so when we put it on the website people can can i click on it if you click on it yeah and that'll load up that picture and then you can spin around it and then up a zoom you can go through the other floor can you and then so you can go in one of the bedrooms so pick that bedroom and it scans around it and you do it for for like holiday lets and estate agents and stuff estate agents um the little catty showroom down in uh Oh, the motorbike shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we'll put a link on to show you what he's done when it's when it's on the website. But if anyone's got like a holiday let or something that they think uh, like a virtual tour will do, I'm not sure when the NFU did one around the farm. It was something a bit similar to that. It will have been something similar. Yeah. yeah. This is obviously got um, infrared, which measures, so people can click on that wall. There's a little tape measure. People can click on that wall and say that wall or in that wall and see how. How big the property is. Oh, I see. Yeah, so give them a shout. How do they get hold of you? Uh, Furnace 360 Media. Oh, there you go. What's on your back? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so it's turning around, taking the pictures, but we're going to run so we're not in the shot. I think I think if you were really bored, you could sit on it in a lay-by with that out the back of the van and get people to slow down. It just looks like a speed camera. Just editing, but before I forget, the link that he's done is now live where he scanned the house. So if you click in the description of the video and go and have a look, he said the most he's ever had is 500 people watching in 24 hours. Well, let's see if we can beat that. Go and click the link and have a bit of a mooch around and see what it's like. Let's have a bit of an update what's going on at Wellbrook. Apparently, I spoke to Janice yesterday who used to live here when she was a kid. Apparently the septic tank's over here somewhere. So it's lucky that we've not fell in it. Maybe it's there. I have to get the digger and scratch about. Anyway, we'll see how he's getting on inside. So the fireplace has gone and Paul's plastered across it. And then the ceiling was obviously damaged from the roof leaking. And then two of the ceiling spars had rotted on the corner. So they've been changed now. So that's finished. And then in here now is the bathroom is taking shape. Towel rails in, pipes are in for that. That's going to be the sink. That Cabinets going on the wall, toilet's going to go there, and then they're making a bath panel out of these other panels that are left. So that's getting, getting there. The council on a Maltora, as Sean says. We finished digging the spuds here now, so we're just looking what to do to get it level because this is going to be wheat. So where the trailers have been, it's pretty, pretty hard. Where the harvest has been, that's all right, because that's on tracks. Well, I can say that, that's a wet bit. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Well, you can't really see actually where they've been, can you? Well, that's, let's find a track. Yeah, so that's where the tracks have been. That's okay, but I don't think we're like a, a road tyre. We're going to have to lift it, but I think it'll block the sumo, because the, the tops because they're quite stringy, especially when they be a bit damp. So we'll disc it, that'll hopefully bury them a little bit so they won't snag as much. Get it a bit level and then we'll sumo and then it'll be weatherproof after the sumo and then we'll drill it with wheat. This is where the wheat was drilled, is it two days ago now? After beans, and anyway, Andrew's on his way up now to spray it. Nice damp seed bed, uh, well, spray bed, shall we say, so it should do a good job. 
And then these little, this is actually volunteer beans, but some of these little weeds here should knock them out as well. Hopefully it'll lay pretty clean. I'm gonna go and have a look at this summer barley on the side of the ditch. This is a summer barley. It's starting to turn now, you can see it necking over. It's actually getting quite hard inside now. No idea what the bushel weight will be, but they do look quite plump grains, which is quite, well, I suppose it has had the moisture, hasn't it? I was gonna say quite astounding, but it's not, because it, it hasn't been that dry. But I think to speed up the process, especially over there, this was the bit that was broadcast on, that was drilled with the drill further up the field. I think we'll we'll speed it up a bit with Roundup in a, in a week or so. And hopefully cut it in a month, three weeks. Big job broken out here, Morgan's taking the light bar off. Ben and Sophie are fitting new lights. And what's the deal? Because everyone always asks me for a discount code. I've put them on the spot now. <laughs> You've still got five percent that everybody keeps pestering for. So what do they do to get that? They just ring us and just ask for it. Oh, so you can't do it on the website? Yeah. Uh, not at the moment. We'll put, you oh. a, we'll put you an Ollie. We'll put you an Ollie five on the website again. There we go. So yeah. So anyone that wants UTV lights, go to the website. What What did you say then? Because I stopped recording. You said that if you're in Ireland, you need to. Our Irish website is ledlightsforsale.ie and our UK one is ledlightsforsale.co.uk So why is it not just UTV products? Because we have a uh, business in Ireland and we have a business in the UK. But why is it not called UTV products? That's a good question. <laughs> I might buy the domain name and sell it at a profit. <laughs> Yeah, so these lights on here, these are what Andrew put on his tractor last year. And they were, were these six times brighter than the others? Six times brighter. Six times brighter than the LED lights that were on it in the first place. Sounds like the Bateman's just arrived back. Andrew's just managed to get that pre-emergence on. We had this unexpected still spell, still spell this afternoon. It's forecast to be really windy, but it actually wasn't that bad. I mean, it is getting up a bit now, but half an hour ago, it was okay when he finished the field. Yeah, so it's just a direct replacement light, but for some reason, Ben's going over the top with some more wires. It's that for the aerons as well, while you've got it in. <laughs> do you not sell aerons? You should do. Can't hear me, I don't think. It's engrossed. You can't really see on the uh, camera. You can actually because it burns a green dot on the phone. And they're pretty bright. Right, daylight running lights. Now we didn't know this, but Ben told us. But you have to put it in drive for them to come on. Whee! So he's just put them in it like a halo. And then they were already on anyway. See how bright they are, see the green now on the screen. Oh, the halo, yeah, yeah. Right, go on, try that now. That oh, that, that's the best. You like that but one? how many is there? That's, there's three. Get into so the solid. That one. Completely solid. Yeah. That one. Well, no, that's the best. No. That's the same, I think that's, keep, is that whole Keep going. Get a solid, solid one. You're going? No, you don't have yes. a choice. <laughs> no, go back, go back solid. One more. And again. Yeah. Oh, no, no, it doesn't stay. Can I get him solid? Up, solid. No, no, no. That's the best. Night Rider. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there you go. Leave that's it that. What you've got in the combine. Yeah, that's the best. That draws your attention. Because there's no point in it flashing at the same as the others. No. I'm jealous. <laughs> what are you eating? Selection. Did I get any change? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what did you get? Big tasty with no bread. Random. Check out his dad bod next week <laughs> on holiday. <laughs>
making it. You've got like really neat handwriting for this. D I. I don't. I can't spell Meredith. That's just so neat. Yes, he's talking about solo now as well. Yeah. Don't don't look at me. I'm way too dyslexic. Ooh. Oh. oh <laughs> failure. <laughs> One job. It's like proper. Well, you've got two because you're going to read the birthdays out now. Oh, am I? Are you ready? I've still not got it all off. I might have to right, fast forward this bit. Wait a minute. Off you go. Uh, First time I've ever done this on the birthday yeah, bumper. You have, you have to go in and point at them. Do I really? It's yeah. tradition. What do I say? Your nail is falling off. You say, <laughs> happy birthday to. Happy birthday to Emma Craig, Daniel Meredith. Um, Vicky East, Sam Ross. And look at this. We've got a Jeff West, East we and do. West. <laughs> uh, Kev Robbins, Lewis Flinton and Houston. No, it was what well, was pronounced. I can't remember. Didn't you I can't remember, remember how it was pronounced, right there. Pronounced Usheen. So we're up to 47,280 something pounds for the Northwest Air Ambulance. So thanks, Sophie, from UTV. So every time UTV come and start putting lights on things, we always get them to do like a guest of the birthday bumper. That's the first time we've ever done it on the smart box as well. So there we go. There's a behind the scenes of taking pictures for the UTV website, is it? Yeah. There's a drone somewhere. Can you see it? It's there. From what I can see, it needs more lights because it's got a big shadow there. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, they need twisting. Uh, we've got. They'll have their full beams on there, won't they? Yeah, but the difference is amazing. Oh, hey, does ours look better? Well, yeah, the, the cars look like they've got candles and jam jars. Right. Look at the light pattern <laughs> off the tractor compared to a car. So we're in the field, it's now stopped raining. The drone's still up somewhere. And what we've noticed is when the tractor's in the field, it's lighting up loads of space. But when cars down the road come down the road, it's hardly lighting up anything. That was close. Drone in a tree. It's like a Christmas decoration. Right, we've had enough. It's the end of the video. See you tomorrow. You're supposed to flip the light switch, Andy. Oh, you said you're doing it. And I've just fell in a hole. Right, we're going. Bye.